Every day as business owners and salespeople, we start the day at the same starting line. But your day is full of obstacles and diversions. Keeping yourself focused on growing your business and maximizing revenue is a challenge. This podcast is designed to help you get better every day so you can meet and exceed the challenges as they come your way. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time. Let's dominate the day. So we're in our series, Seven Ways to Take Your Small Business to the Next Level. We've talked about goal setting, big, hairy, audacious goals, taking care of customers by focusing on customer service, building your team's information level by committing to continuous learning. Today, I want to talk about delegation. See, I love delegating. A lot of people hate it because they don't know how to trust the process. So you have to learn how to trust yourself to get to delegate. In every business that I've owned, I've had individuals in roles that struggled with delegation. And the reason was always the same. They were afraid if they delegated a task to someone else, that that individual would not be able to do the task the way that they know that they could do it. And therefore, they were worried that the task would not get completed the way that it should be completed. So instead of delegating, they would just do the task themselves. So what's the problem with that? Well, here's the problem. Number one, you only have so much time in a day. And so if you, you want to create a business that is expansive, you can't put yourself in the field taking care of service issues when your job is to grow the company. Same, same concept with if you have field leadership, if you have somebody in the field who is a leader in the field, they should be leading in the field. They shouldn't be performing the service. If you have an individual who is in charge of sales and their job is to sell and grow, they shouldn't be servicing the customer unless that is your role because you are doing that today. But your goal should be to delegate tasks and look at tasks that aren't MMAs and start delegating them. What's an MMA, Gary? Mixed martial art task? No. It's money-making activities. So money-making activities are things that you should be doing on a consistent, constant, constant daily basis. If an activity isn't MMA, then you look to delegate it. If you're delegating non-MMAs, then you have more time to focus on MMAs. And if you're focusing on MMAs, you're probably making more money because that's the whole ideal of a money-making activity is to make more money. The problem is, the problem is we don't trust ourselves. It's a problem in a lot of areas. It's a problem in marketing, deciding what type of marketing, maybe a marketing partner, maybe making decisions around marketing. It's a problem when it comes to selecting minuscule things like uniform colors or branding colors or a logo. Like we get caught up in this process and we don't trust ourselves. At the end of the day, you got to learn how to trust yourself. Because here's the thing. If you mess up, you'll fix it. You can't be afraid to have the mess up. The mess up is going to give you the glow up and the glow up is going to give you the grow up. And that's the way delegation works. If we can trust ourselves to delegate to team members who we have given enough tools to, to be able to complete what it is we're delegating to them, then they can help us get to the next level. You learn how to trust your people with tasks that you've delegated and you will see your business propel to the next level quickly. Otherwise, you're going to be stuck in a rut. If you're stuck, you're not going to go anywhere. Focus on delegation. Focus on trusting yourself to delegate and dominate the day.